All right. And then share the doc, the curriculum that we're going to be using for today. Is there a place for direct HDMI? Sorry? Is there a place that we can buy direct HDMI? Oh, uh, yeah. Place? Yeah. Um, I'll, you know what? At the end of this workshop, uh, I'll... Well, there, there's a list of all the hardware that's required. So if so, I'll at the end of this workshop, I'll let you guys look at the list of hardware, and okay. you can see you can take a screenshot of it, and okay. see like if you're missing anything, and okay. if you're missing anything, you can let STEM Hub know, or you can you can look for it online if you can. Okay. All right. So. All right, guys. Let's get started. So welcome to um, STEM Hub Foundation's uh, second Raspberry Pi workshop. Today we're we've already um, practiced how to um, assemble a Raspberry Pi and connect it to a monitor. All well, those those of us who were able to, those of us who who were had like all the required material to do so. Um, but that's but it's okay if you haven't. Um, just try your best to follow along. Um, so my name is Akira. I'm going to be your main instructor for today. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just me by myself today. So um, I'm going to try my best to help all of you. So yeah, again, um, today is the um, Sense Hat Marble Maze. So we're going to be learning how to program a maze program on our Raspberry Pi computer. So let's get started. OK, so project overview um, objective by the end of this experiment students should be able to install a software package system on a raspberry pi connect your raspberry pi to a sense hat um, if you've received one in the mail then you know what i'm talking about um, and then code and create an electronic marble game marble maze game using python okay so we all know like um, what Raspberry Pis are, you know, like the background um, of it. So let's talk about like the Marble Maze game. So a Marble Maze game is a game of skill and dexterity. The marbles are placed inside of a maze and the player guides them to a specific point by tilting the maze in various directions to roll the marbles around. The sense hat is capable of reporting its exact orientation or its location and has a built-in 8x8 pixel LED display, which makes it the perfect device which, with which to create an electronic marble maze game. So basically, we're trying to recreate this, but on a computer. Wait, do you need the monitor set up for this? Uh, yes. Um, if, you, yeah. if you were here for our last workshop, you, um, we... Um, learned how to connect our Raspberry Pi 4s to our to a monitor with an HDMI cable. Um, if, if, uh, if you weren't able to do that, that's fine. Um, you can always come back to this recording. Um, but um, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys um, if, if you if you have if you're able, if you have your monitor with you and you and it's connected, then um, just follow then you'll be able to demonstrate it yourself in this workshop. But if you can't, just follow along to the best of your ability, maybe take some notes, and then watch this recording later when you have everything that you need. Um, wait, how do you watch the recording? Uh, we're, well, we're going to post this, this recording, that, this recording right here, um, is going to be sent to STEM Hub Foundation, and then they're going to post it on their YouTube channel. And it will be sent to all of you guys. Foundation. It'll, it'll be sent to all of you guys. All of you guys that have registered, it will be sent to everyone here. So don't worry about the record, about receiving the recording. Okay, materials needed. Hardware, just this. The only hardware that we're, that we're going to need to... That the only new hardware that we're going to need today is the Sense Hat, which hopefully you guys have received. But if not, that's okay too. Um, the software we're going to be it. using is the latest version of Raspbian, 
which already includes Python 3 and Sense Hat for Python 3. So if you're, one, if you're wondering what Python is, if you're wondering what Python is, it's um it's the code, it's the programming language. It's 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 Python's a uh, one of many programming languages, and um, Python is the is the language that we're going to be using to code to code our maze game. So installing this oh and this is for if you need to inst install the package manually, but um. Every, every but um, the Raspberry Pi should already have the the Raspbian and the Python programs installed, so we can skip ahead of this. And now we're gonna figure out. Um, now I'm gonna show you guys how you can connect your Sense Hat to your Raspberry Pi. So if you received a Sense Hat, a Sense Hat, then it should look like this. You should have received the sense hat that looks like this, and you should have also received um, some connectors that look like these. If you can see the picture. Okay, so. That's a lot of different computer. I don't have Raspberry Pi installed on this one. You don't have Raspberry Pi installed on your computer? The one that I miss now, I don't have it installed. Well, well, yeah, because we're not, you're not using your, we're not using our laptops to do the Raspberry Pi. Um, we're not using our laptops for this experiment. We're using our Raspberry Pis, which we assembled two weeks ago, and the monitors that we connected them to. The Raspberry, the this the the box that this the Raspberry Pi box has everything that has all the software already programmed into it, and you just need to connect it to a monitor. And then what we're doing today is we're trying to modify the information that's on the Raspberry Pi. Okay. So this would be the 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 sense hat. Very happy. So is this the sense hat? Let me see. <laughs> yep. Yep, Caleb's okay. got it. So should I um, um, should I take yeah. out the Raspberry Pi out of the case? Yes. Yeah, take take your Raspberry if you have your Raspberry Pis in your case, then um take them out because we want to connect the Raspberry Pi to the, um, we're gonna to wanna to put our sense hats on top of the Raspberry Pi. I'll show you how to do it in a second. I have a question. Yep, yeah. what's up, Mateo? Um. Do I have to like unplug everything right now? Because uh, I have my monitor, keyboard, mouse, power cord, everything is turned on. So do I have to just like unplug everything out? Oh. Um, and what do I do yeah, about the um, fan? Oh, you, oh, you installed your fan? Um, yeah. I think um, it, sh it should, be, I don't think the fan should get in the way of the sense hat. Um, because we're putting the sense hat on top of the Pi. So would I'll you think, like me to disconnect it? Oh yeah, di dis ju just di just disconnect your Raspberry Pi so that, and then take it out of the box so that you can, um, so that you have um, what I'm showing you here. Okay. I hope we have um, three people so in the this, waiting room. These parts came with the sense hat. So are you gonna show us how to attach these parts to it? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah, should, I take out, should I take out the microchip? The microchip? Yeah, yeah, the microchip at the bottom of the Raspberry Pi. Should I take it out? No, you can leave those in. You don't have to take okay. that out. Okay. I don't have the microchip on my thing. Sorry. I couldn't figure out how to put 
fit the microchip on my Raspberry Pi two weeks ago. Wait, sorry, I don't understand your question. Um, about your SD card. Yeah, I don't. I didn't have it in. Um, I didn't put it on my Raspberry Pi. Okay. Um. Did you Did you receive one? Did you receive an SD card? Yeah. With yeah. Your... Okay. So um. Okay. So you're you're gonna you're gonna want to take your SD card and then and then place it. Um. Okay. Does Does somebody want to show does Somebody want to show her how to put how to put the SD card in? Which SD card? The little one that we had put in our our chip to put in the computer. Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna go to the bottom of the Raspberry Pi, like right there. And you're gonna take this box it. here, and then you're gonna stick it in. From the bottom, the black part has to be facing down, and the red and white part has to be facing up. You're going to put it like right there, right in that little slot there. Okay. Like this. Uh, like mm -hmm. like that. Mr. Akira? Yeah? The picture shows a different design of the Raspberry Pi. Yeah, this is something new that we're do that we're gonna do today. No, I know, like, but but the picture, like, if before you put on this, the, um, this, the I, I think that's the we're gonna then, attach uh, to the SD card. I think we're oh, gonna mean, attach to the sense. The picture's different. The picture's different. Like these two, these two are now connected, and then but there's. But there's no like pins right here. No pins right here. Okay. Um. Yeah. That's because this this is an illust this is an illustration of what the Raspberry Pi should look like. Um. If it doesn't look ex doesn't look ex it does if it doesn't look exactly like it like um the real thing that's just because the designer was lazy. But um. Yeah. But um. There's something the picture doesn't have too. That picture of the actual Raspberry Pi doesn't have to. See, look, look, look. It's connect. Yeah. This it's connected. Th mm -hmm. This part's connected, and and there's no pins like four pins right here because I got a four extra receive, pins right there. Yeah, I you should have received. You, sh you should have received those pins in the sent hat package if you received it in the mail. I have. You mean oh, these little thingies? Yeah. So on the, on my monitor, there's a different HDMI in, and the Raspberry Pi has. It's a weird one. So I can't connect it. Okay. Um. You, if you can't if you can't connect the, your your HDMI um for any reason um then you'll just have to you'll just have to follow along because um if you if there's if there's um if that monitor is already using a using um an HDMI if it's already using an HDMI cable and it's already connected to something else then um it's being it's probably being used so you don't want to just disconnect it. So um, you're gonna have to wait until um, that monitor is not being used, and then you'll have to connect it to your 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 Raspberry Pi. No, the actual plug-in has a different shape than what the cord is. It's exactly. A... Oh, the cape the cable has a different shape. Yeah. No, no, no. The cable's like the regular sure. shape, but on the monitor. Like at the back, uh huh. There's a different shape of HDMI in. Oh, does it? Does it have like um? Does it 
Does it have like two circles yeah. at the no, side? It has the flat side on the end. Yeah. And then, and then it slants at the other side. But on the Raspberry Pi, it has two slants. On. Mm -hmm. I have a question. I guess the I guess the um. Mr. Akira. I guess yeah. Uh, do I take out the SD card? No, don't don't remove your SD cards. Um, you don't need to. Okay. Yeah. Um. So if you have those um those spacers that that you that you got in those um with the sense hat then we're going to be using those to attach to connect our raspberry pi to the sense hat i dropped i dropped my raspberry pi you dropped it yeah can you find it i found it okay hopefully hopefully it's not damaged Okay, so uh, you're gonna wait, want to um wait. huh? I don't have the screws. I don't have this oh never mind. You don't have well never mind, I found them. Yeah. Well, I, I call them screws, but they're more like um connectors. Okay, so later don't they get the Mr. Bean. Okay, so you're gonna want to so to connect your, your Raspberry Pi to your Sense Hat, you're gonna want to take it out of the case. So yeah, you've got the circuit board out, and then the the Sense Hat is gonna go on top of the is going gonna go on top of it like this. Do you have to connect so, this part? Yeah, so you, you need use, the connectors yeah, those, to connect yeah, those it, right? Where yeah, you use those, those four spacers to connect it. Yep, just gotta find. Oh, find them. And also, um, if you, you guys, um, in in also, in the in the plastic bag which has those spacers, you should also have like um a rectangular piece, that is gonna go on the um on the Raspberry Pi, and then when you put the and then you put when you put the sense hat on top of it, it's gonna connect. It should have like a bunch of like little, really tiny spikes. Those are gonna connect to the bottom of the sense hat. It's gonna it's gonna line up with the one side of the sense hat. Okay, so I got one down. You got one down. Yeah. Okay. You got one. You got one um, spacer down, or you got the um, one, one spacer side. down. Okay, so um, so yeah, try to connect um, try to get all four spacers I, on there, and I, then put I, already the, got, uh, I have two right now that are. Okay, and did you also put the rectangular piece with the with the spikes? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. Um, I'm just putting those little. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Spaces. No rush. Uh, I only have three. How much am I supposed to have? You only have three spacers? Yeah, I only have You're supposed to have four. Because when I opened it, I only had three. So you must have lost the piece. I haven't because... Well... When you opened oh, it, you have one of the pieces. I opened it. He didn't create a mess, and I only found three. Huh. At first, I could only find three, but I found my other one next to my rectangular piece. Okay, okay so... Wait, never mind. I found the fourth one. So what do I do after I put these those four on? How do you get the spacers on? I How see four yellow holes, but I can't get them in. 
you have well, to put like the screws, and then you have to put this. Oh, uh, like you have to pr pr press, and then like start like screwing it in. Like you know that. how spots, as in the spikes. You have to use screws. Oh, um, okay. Screws, right. You know how there's spots, as in yeah. like like these small spots. Do the spikes have to touch Wait, them? I have a question. Do I have to put the screws on the other side too? If I connect them, do I have to put the screws on the other side as well? Yeah, if you can put them on um, both sides, then great. If um, if you can't, then um, then it's not the end of the world. Um, you can you should still be able to connect. I'm gonna have your to go in a few hat. minutes. I'm gonna have to go in a few minutes. Okay, that's fine. Um, again, this is gonna be recorded, so whatever you miss here, you can um, you can catch up. Okay. Okay, you know how the spots for the spikies? Do we have to put them in? Yeah. Um, they have to go. The, yeah. Yeah, the Raspberry Pi, um, there are a bunch of, on one side of the your Raspberry Pi, there are a bunch of like, um, spikies. There a bunch of spikes, right? So yeah. you're going to want to put, and then on the sense hat, on the bottom of the sense hat, there's one side which has a bunch of tiny holes on one side. So, so you're going to want to, uh huh. Uh, not really sure if I can do that. <laughs> You're not yeah, really sure I, if you can do it. Yeah. All you have to do is diamond. all you have to do is place it on top of it, and make sure that um, so, and make sure that. You said that has to be inside. For me, they're too big to go inside. What's too big to go inside? The spikies. Oh, so they're not fitting in, is what you're saying. They're too big. Also, why is there this red part? A mm. red part? You know, like here, that I can peel off. It looks like this. Do you see it? I'm looking mm. at a, a red part on the pie. It's on the holes for the spikies. Uh, I'm not. Wait. I'm not. I'm not red seeing. Part. I'm, See red part, the part, that part in the middle. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. Just leave that. Just leave that alone. Um. Actually, I think that's a. Yeah. Just leave that alone. Um. I'm not sure if that's a sticker or that's part. Part of the Raspberry Pi. And uh, yeah, this probably not too big to go in. It's too big to go in. Yes. Oh, it, or, oh, it can't go through. You're saying it can't go through that. Yeah. It won't be entered. Oh no! You're you're not putting it in through there. You're putting it from the bottom. Yeah, exactly. This part here, all of yeah. these. Uh huh. And this part and. Uh, the spikies here mm -hmm. have to go in, right? Yeah. Exactly. They're too big. Mm. And also, the red part is blocking them, so I'm not sure. Well, the red part is on top of the sense hat. It's on the surface of the sense hat, so... Does the, be... does the rectangular piece have to go all the way in? Or should we just... Wait, which way in is it supposed to go in? It's supposed to... All right, it's uh, it's supposed to... The, the part with the spikes on your Raspberry Pi is supposed to line up with um the, rect the rectangular black piece on the yeah. sense hat. So does it go in directly on the black piece or does it have to pass the surface? Yeah. It should go it should go in through the through the can, bottom of Can you go, can you connect your yeah. raspberry to like this? Look, it's not going Can you connect the raspberry Pi to, to a TV not there? Theoretically, in theory, yes. In theory, yeah. yes, you can connect your 
your Raspberry Pi to your TV. Because oh, yeah. that means it doesn't work in real life. Also, what's this spiky part? What is this? It's blocking the, the way. The extra spike. This one. What is this? It's blocking the way. Hold on a Has second. It, there's an extra spike part. So I'm not sure. It says P O E on it. I'm pretty sure that means peel. Why yeah, would it mean peel? Because it has a P. It has P O E in that exact order. Or it could be E O P. E O P. My my red sticker doesn't say anything. That's because it's an extra spike spot. Here. So well, if I connected it to the TV and I had like something else, Star Hero, do I take this? Do I take the sticker uh, off? Box. Uh. Or my PS4. Then you want to take that sticker off? Yeah, that yeah you can Raspberry take it off. Pie? Now, what do I do? I connect these extra pins. Oh, the, oh, the, the extra space. pins that you got with the sense hat. Yeah. Yeah, that's the yeah, that's the only thing. Um, it doesn't mention it doesn't mention that piece here in the curriculum. It says yeah, you're supposed to just um. Piece. It says you're supposed to just place the sense hat on top of the on top of the Raspberry Pi, and then use the, and use. My hands are so slippery. So what's gonna go on with the fan? Because the fan help, helps it from overheating. Why would it overheat? I, I used this before, well, and, it, well, and, and it was starting to heat up a lot, and it, it actually almost burned me. So I, I put a fan, and it yeah. wasn't. Yeah, this is not working. I have to find another one. Hold on. I'm thinking, no. I'm thinking, you know, the rectangular piece that um that came in the mail. That's like an ex an extender piece. It's an extension of of the Raspberry Pi. I think oh. you're su you're supposed to use you're supposed to place that piece on the Pi. So that, and then put the sense hat on it. Actually, but what do I do about this extra piece? Wait, so you, I'm you confused. Didn't receive... Okay, I'm confused now. Okay, let, let me ex let me um yeah okay that's that's my fault. I'll let me explain it from the beginning. So, so do I have to take it all apart now? Okay. Oh. Do you guys have the? So you guys should have. You guys have your Raspberry Pi. You have the sense hat. And you have the, and you have another. Did yeah? You, you should have another rectangular piece with spikes on top of it. Yeah, I have this thing. And look, look at yeah. that extra spike spot. Yeah. Okay, okay. Look, just, just, just listen first. So you're gonna want to take that rectangular piece and then place it on the Raspberry Pi where the spikes are. Okay. So which way does it go? Does Which it go? Does, there's only one way for it to go in. No, as in, does it go through the black part or does it go through the green board? The black part of the board. So we take this, we put it in. Take all the That's not out what now. I'm saying. Here, as in, here, does it go through these holes here? Does it go through these holes? Or does it go through these holes? That's it. That 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 whole piece that you're holding is 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 the last part that goes on top of the pie at the end. Exactly. So which way? Oh. So. I'm talking about the the fir the bottom the Raspberry Pi that we had two weeks ago. You're gonna take you have that, and then you have the rectangular piece that you got with the sense hat and the connectors. Yeah. Okay. And you're gonna want to put that piece. We can call him T. Let's call him T. 
you can put that piece, you can slide that piece into where those spikes are on your pie and then pl finally place. And then once that piece is slided in, once it fits in, hey, you I place took it the off, rest so on. Let me, do I let put me see. this? It can't go window. Either do way, do yeah, it's not do going I, in. Right. Do I put this here? Yeah, like that. But then how am I supposed to put the scent hat? Oh. Oh, it, it goes oh, on top. oh, 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 I get it, I get it. Okay, but seriously, as in... Wait, no, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Does anybody else have, like, a group of four spikes separated? Or is that... Oh, wait, it works! I have it. It works. Yeah, okay, so do you guys see what Mateo has? Yes. Okay, which way does it go? So now do I screw it back together again? Sure. I need my doctor. Okay, show, um, show me show me what you have. I have this, I have this, I have this. Wait, do I have to screw it back together again? And I have my screws and uh, stuff. No, that's like just leave it as it is for now. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's all I need, right? Uh, so no, no, so what I just need is it's not working. SF. Yes. Um, that was nice. You have so much more extra thickness. You're so much My more thumb dark. is aching me. I don't even know why, but when I connected it this to is what it's supposed feet. to look like. Yeah, mine doesn't look like that. Mine look. Mine looks like that. Mr. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, you take that well, off. I connected all the cords. Take the extra, take the extra pins. I connected all. And the then connect that to it, and then after, when you have the spacers and stuff like that, you just put um the top um the top um. Oh. What's it called again? Are you talking about this piece? Yeah, use that piece. Connect it to where the extra pins, uh, where the other pins are. So that long row of pins. It's solid up. Or like the yep. other way. Um, like the this. way where the pins are not facing each other. Yeah, so like this. Yeah, and then connect it all together, and then do, and then put the top part, and then yeah, just. Yeah, it's not going through. The, and, and you should the, do a the click. Piece, it's, you should do a click. That piece isn't going through all the way. Um, you have to put a bit more pressure. Yep. No. Okay, you got it. Yep. You that. Yep, and then and place then the put, sense hat. Yep, put the sun tap. Finally on. got my first. Then you should hear a in. click. Like this. Like this or Yeah, it should line up with everything. Yep. So or the black? Okay. So do I put it directly through the circuit board or through the black parts, then the circuit board? You you put it you you put the circuit the sense hat, the cir the circuit board on top of the Raspberry Pi, so that in a way that the black yeah. pieces all line up with each other on that one side. I've got two spacers in, two more to go. So like this? Yep. yep, yeah, like that. Okay. You just have to put your spacers, the two spacers. Can't see on so short. Yeah, how do the spacers go in? You, you, have have you have to put them you have to put through the those. Screw, uh, you have to put the screw first and put the spacers um, in where the screw, then start screwing it in. And then yeah, the like in this. Place. You put the screw in first over here. Okay. I'm confused. So, because that you think in the yellow spot, can you see it? And you put it in. Oh. Okay. And I you put I in the spacer. It's, it's not going in. The screws? So do we take the big chunky part and put the screw through that? Then through it? Or do we just put the You screw know what? Since since you already have the Sentai connected, um since you already have the Sentai connected, you you can you can leave it at that. And so what do I do after this? this? I got my piece there. After okay, it. I'm confused. As in, okay, you know what? It's too big. The, the spacers, the spacers, um, 
the spacers connecting is actually optional. If you if you can connect your your sense hat to the main Pi, then that's all you need to do. If you uh, can connect it, then that's fine. Um, my only problem, can, yeah, is where can I put the fan? Where, where can you put the fan? There should be enough space in between the sense hat and the and the bottom of the Pi for you to put the fan in. No, because it's like the fan goes. Get in. I know where the fan goes. It's just that I can't put it anywhere. So like, see, look, if I try to put it in, it won't, it won't work. Okay, so it just goes flat in it, and it won't work. Okay. Okay, but it's supposed, to, but the uh, the fan is supposed to go on the pie, not the sense hat. Okay. Yeah, but, but so how am I supposed to put it on then? Okay, I so mean, you'd have to what? you'd how have to you take I... you'd have to take oh, the sense hat gosh. off and then put the fan in. Seriously? Oh. I am so confused right now. You have to take the entire sense hat off. The top part. You have to take the top part off completely. And then put the fan <laughs> in onto the pie. Uh, I need like to was take before. my sense hat off. No, don't. If you have your sense hat off, leave it no, like no. that. I need it. I figured out how the spacers work. Yeah. You have to put them before some other parts. Mm. Yeah, you have to put the screws first and then on the bottom. And then. No, you have to put the giant things first. Yeah. Put the screws. So I'm trying yeah. to take okay. it off. Yeah. Um, okay, sense hat. Come on. There we go. There we go. Push here. You have to put the giant chunky part. But what do I do with my extra spikies? Your extra spikes, yeah, I, the, I, the rectangular I, piece that. No, there's four spikes in a square separated from the others. Oh yeah, oh, yeah those spacers. Those... You can you can con you can connect you can place those on the four corners. Um, but I, you don't. But you don't have to. I'm missing a piece. But it helps. Yeah. I miss it. Okay, found it. You can use the spacers to connect the pie to the to help connect the pie to the sense hat, but if but you don't have to do that, it just helps. Wait, why is everyone leaving? Hey, okay, so what do I do now? No. I took it all apart. I took it all apart. Uh, I have the extra finger piece. Why, why did you take out the extra part? What? Because uh, I can't put the fan anywhere. Okay, where do you put the fan? So before we had to put the sentient hat on, I usually take the, the so this is my fan is right here connected right, so I usually just put it inside the pins. But now since we have to put the sentient hat on, I can't do that now. Especially if I have to have put this on top of it and then put the sentient hat on because it covers it. So that's my you problem put, right now. Do you have any extra spikies? No. What do you mean? No, the the four no, separated. The... No, as in some spikies are separated. This? Yeah, as in no, not that. I'm... No, no. The four that are separated? Yes, those. I'm pretty sure you can at least use those for one of the spots. I I can't because the sentient hat is gonna cover it. Yeah, I would I would assume that you'd put the fan. Before the scent, the scent hat, 
and then it would just be between me? them. Okay, I don't me? think we need to. Because I'm getting confused. Do you have your, you have your fan with you, right? Back. Yeah, my fan is currently connected to the top part of the case. So I have it connected. What do I do now? The Sentia hat. Because look, it's going to bend it and it won't work. It's going to bend the cord. Yeah, let me, let me try placing it in mine. Yeah, um, I'll be with you in a second. Um, I don't think you're supposed to have the, I don't think you're supposed to put the whole, the whole um, case with the, when the sense hat is on. I think it's supposed to be by itself just for this part, just for okay, this session. So can you show what? us where they put the fan in the instructions? They, the, they didn't use the fan in here. That's a thing. Oh. The fan isn't necessary for this lesson, but um, you, you should you should be able to just do this part without the fan because the fan um, because the fan is just gonna if you try to connect the fan to on top of this then it's just gonna create it then it's just gonna take longer. It should be able to work. Um, you know, it. Because we're not going to be doing the, the have have our we're not going to be doing the um the software part of this lesson for very long, so you shouldn't have to worry about over about the computer overheating. Okay, so. And Yola, you have your hand raised. What's your question? The, the four towers. Uh, can we use the sense hat emulator? The sense hat emulator? What is that? Do we have well, a yeah, the set, the sense hat emulator is um is part of the, is part of the lesson, but you need the actual piece itself. So it's a part of the lesson, but it's like DLC. Yeah, it's um, yeah, like the the emulator is um is is part is part of the software that we're using, but you need but to use that software you need the you need the hardware as well. If if you if you haven't I, and I know um some of you haven't received the sense hat for some reason, which um is strange because um the stem hub shouldn't stem hub should have sent out the the required hardware to everybody by now. But I'm not I'm not in charge of it, so I guess I'll I'll, I'll have to let them know after this um, that um that that some of the hardware hasn't hasn't been delivered yet. So I, I'm I'm sorry. So I'm sorry that um I'm sorry about that. Um, I I'm sorry that um the stem up stuff hasn't received hasn't reached everyone yet, even though it should have. But um. But you should be able to follow along still, even if you don't have everything. And then later on, once this is posted, hopefully you have you'll have the everything shipped to wherever you are right now. So by that by by that by the time you find this um, recording on YouTube and you're watching it by yourself, you should have the required material. But um, for now, we're gonna. For now, once we have, once we all have our sense hats attached, then we can move on to the next part, which is using the sense hat emulator, which Eniola mentioned. Oops. I'm bringing out the screwdriver. <laughs> Okay, so so what's your what's your problem with your your pie? You're trying to unscrew it. Yeah, I'm trying to screw it in. You know how there's four towers. Okay. 
but you but you managed to connect your sense hat to the yeah, to the pie, much. right? Yes. Okay. Um well, if you're if you're though? having trouble okay, yeah, Mateo's got it. Um perfect. Um if you're having trouble use connecting using the screws and the connectors, um you don't have to you don't have to worry this about is too much the about it. I used it has like a flat tip like this. Then I just start screwing it in. Yeah, um yeah, Stem Up really needs to be more specific with their like required stuff. But they should like make sure that they should like send in like um if they're gonna send in like parts like this which need like screwdrivers, then they should be more specific. I think. Well, you don't necessarily that can, need that a can. screwdriver. It's because even if you screw it all the way in, it doesn't perfectly stabilize it. So mm. big oof. It just yeah. helps, and you yeah. can take all the help that. And it's honestly all the help that you get. So you have to take it or leave it. Mm. Okay, so yeah, you you can um you can just leave your if you have your sensei connected, then that's all that's honestly all you need for this next part. So we're gonna move on to using the sense emulator. Do we have it? This, the Sentat emulator is um is the software that's programmed onto the Pi once you connect it to your to your monitor, whether it's your computer screen by or if so it's your do TV I have to put the case it. back on? No, no, you don't. So, you don't have to put the case back on. Oh, so it's something I can't do. You were trying to screw the case on? No, as in this next part, I can't do it. No, you can do it because you have your sense hat attached. If you don't need the, you don't need the connect the screws. As as no, long no, as the no, sense hat is attached. Day, as in, you said that you have to connect it with the monitor, right? Yeah. Exactly. I don't have. It's not connected, so I can't do that. Okay, that that's fine. You can just follow along and then um Honestly, you I can't even the connect the, after. I can't even connect the case if I even if I wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, you're Yeah, because you're supposed to because when we do when we do this experiment, oh. you're supposed to watch the top of the sense hat and it's going to light up. You're going to want to watch for those lights. So, you 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 don't want to put the case on top of it to cover it. No, but I'm trying to put on the bottom one, and I can't do that because of the screws. Yeah, yeah. That that's fine. Um, that's fine. Um, you can you can leave it as is, and then you can, it's and then if you want, sus. you can remove you can remove this the connect the screws later, and then put the case back into back on. So what are we supposed to do now? Now, um, if if you if you can connect your your Raspberry Pi to um a monitor or your TV without the case the, on, yeah, without the case, we're gonna be using it without the case now. Okay. So if you can do that and and turn on the turn on the monitor, then we can. We can move on to using the Sensat emulator. <laughs> oh, that's actually very cool. That's yeah, yeah, it, it lights up, right? Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah, like, yeah. Are you you oh, you? my eyes. Are you, are you okay? Did you look right into it? Does it? Hurt your, it does hurt your eyes a bit. Yeah, don't yeah, don't put it too close. It just to, flashed right in front of my face. Yeah, don't don't put the don't put the Senta too close to your face or your eyes. Um, because like they're LED lights, but they're very strong. So why are they so strong? <laughs> why? Well, you just saw. Well, well, well. 
the lights have to be bright so that you can so that it works that's properly. That's why I said they're LED lights. They don't have to be that bright that they're so powerful. They it makes you flash. Well, actually, the LED lights in your room is actually much better than this. At least it doesn't hurt your eyes. Exactly. The only and time it hurts your eyes is where it goes from color to black and then color to black. That, that just bothers your eyes. So it doesn't even change color uh, color. Wow. Not worth it. You know? This one's super this one's super I don't lie. Mr. Um, Akira, yeah. what do I do now? Do I just wait? Uh, yeah, I think you're, I think it's loading. I think it's just booting up. So just give it a second. What was that? Oh, yeah, uh, that was no. not very fun. I have no idea what I'm that in. was. Woo! Yeah. 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 after. I don't even know what happened. My computer does crash. So. Yeah, first something happened. Somebody Excuse has me. to make everyone. <laughs> yeah, it. I'm on a different. Excuse me. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Who said? I'll talk for a little bit. Um, for half an hour. I have to rename it. Okay. How do I rename? That's fine. Please Welcome share. back. Um. Please so, share. yeah. If, if you missed us, we we're we were just um. Connecting our sense hat, our sense hat to, to our Raspberry Pis, and now we're no. connecting our no. Pis to uh, our monitors, and using the emulator that's programmed onto it. Nice. <laughs> we're, what we're doing right now? Sorry, ask say that again. So what are we, what are we doing right now? Right now, we're connecting our, our Raspberry Pis to our monitors so that we can move on to the next part of this lesson, which is using uh, the Sense Hat emulators. Mr. Yeah? It's not lighting up anymore, and my computer's on, and it's on. He said we're going oh, the, to... oh, the Sense Hat's not lighting up anymore? Yeah, but Oh, that's because... It's, yes. it's on. It's on. Okay. Um, Did you... So the monitor's on. So that that's the fine. Is that means to light I'm, I'm going to be on the first step still, which is connecting it. <laughs> okay. Um. You want me to show I, you? So it's like, she's not lighting up, but the computer's working. Okay, okay that's fine. That's fine. That's because you, you need have a now that it's for this. I'm so. Are we? Are we so building? What do I do now with this, this case? Uh, put the case aside for now. Caleb, what's your question? So, what are we supposed to do with the sense hat? You're supposed to, Holy um... Crap, that is hot! Supposed to, um... You're supposed to... Did, did you receive, um... You're supposed these, to connect your yeah. sense hat to the top of your Raspberry Pi by using the, um, the rectangular piece that you got in that plastic bag. Okay. So that your Raspberry Pi looks like this. Okay. So, so I take this piece. Mm-hmm. And then place that on the Raspberry Pi. Is that place it on the Raspberry Pi. No, where the it? spikes are. Yep. And then. So it will look like this. Yep. Yeah. And then and then push the push that piece in so that it's all the way in. Oh, this one. Here's one. Here's one. This one. No, uh, turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it around. Push this. Zip. So this is in. So that's in, and then you push this. Mm -hmm. So you push this part. What do I do now? Uh, okay. I have to. I have to make sure that Caleb's caught up with us. Just give me so a second. You, you push this part. Put this part on top of the sensor. Not okay. No, the sense hat is what goes is what's going on top. So you're supposed to put the rectangular piece on the on the bottom of the Raspberry Pi, and then place the sense hat on top of it so that it lines up with that piece. Do you see what I, do you see um what I have on screen right now? Yes. Can you face it like Can you face it like this so I can see? 
parts of the sock. So this is supposed to be like this is supposed to be like this. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I'm push it down now. It's pushed down. So is it? So what? What about the other side? The other side is is fine. Um, don't it's don't worry about the other side. Like, it's supposed to look like this. Is the okay? Show show me the side of your pie. Show me the side of it. Turn it around. Yeah, yeah, and then put push push it push it downward so that it's flat. Like this. Are we supposed to use the little black things to support the other side? Yes, but you don't need. It yes, but if but you don't because but you don't working. need to. I want it to look. You said it's a game. So where's the game? There's no games. Oh. That is hot as hell. What are we doing right now? You want me to do it again? I'm yeah. trying to get everyone caught up because not all of us are caught up yet. Okay. Yo, my Raspberry Pi. So I summoned, right? I got seven servers. So two star plus the yellow Vegito, and I got. Yep, so that's. Adding, yep, that star. looks good. Just putting to get in two star plus. All right, Caleb, you're going to want to. I summoned for Vegito. How did I live? Good. Rainbow and the Vegito, I didn't get it. I'm going to know. All right, Caleb, Caleb, you're gonna want to push your your piece in further so that it's flat because I can see the bottom isn't pushed in all the way. All the way. Hold it carefully and push it all the way in. It's really hard to push in. And make sure that all the spikes are lined up. Like this? Yep, like that. Now you've got it. They say you don't need these supports, right? These supports. Th those supports help, but you don't. But you don't need them. You don't absolutely need them to okay. for this. All right. So you, can, you, you can connect them later. He, he's up, he's up to speed now. Sorry. He's up to speed now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's... All right. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. okay so. So now that you have that, and you're gonna want to take that that and then use the HDMI cable to connect your Raspberry Pi to your monitor or your or your TV or whatever you're using. Dad. Yeah. Ready to go? I need to Ready, connect. God, you worry. TV. You don't have to worry. Can you not be sorry because you didn't wish for me? Now for the people who are caught up, what are we supposed to do? Yeah. Yeah. The people who, everyone who is caught up, I'll, I'll be with you all in a second. So, are you supposed to put it back in the case? No, don't put it, don't, no, don't put it back in the case. Just leave it like that. And connect and then, it to the TV or my videos on. Okay, so while Caleb's right. getting his monitor, um, let me show you guys the next step. So I'm going to have to go now. Okay. Okay, bye. Um, all right, thanks for joining in. No problem, and we'll thank you. Sure, we'll, we'll make sure that this recording gets to you. All right, bye. Bye. Okay, see ya. Okay, so for everyone who has their um, Raspberry Pi set up, you're gonna to want to make sure that it's connected to your monitor, and then once once the once your desktop is done loading, then cool. you're gonna to want to go to. People care, Kevin. He's doing it on the side. You're gonna to go to. You're gonna to want to look for the Raspberry icon. Hey, Click on it, and then look for the Sense Hat emulator. App. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't do that. Um, you want to look for, you want to go to the Raspberry Pi icon in the top left, click on it, and then click on programming, and then look for Python 3. Look for what? Yeah. Guys, 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 one at a time. You see, you see what's on what I have on the screen here? You're gonna want to look for that on your monitor. No, it's it's just Python 3. And in brackets idle. I don't see Python 3. You don't see it? Do you see Python? Do you see any Python? No, I only see Sunny Python, Python IDE. Sunny Python IDE. <clears throat> Which is the second last one in programming. Yeah, yeah. Um... I wonder if there's a thing that where you can install Python. That's strange because the the Py, the Raspberry Pi should be should have Python and Python two and three built in. Um, hold on a second. Python three? Question mark. I'm trying to put in my Raspberry Pi, so. Do you see Sense Hat Emulator? Yes. Okay, click on that one first. Sense Hat Emulator clicked. Okay, I see it. It's I see like a bar that says temperature, pressure, humidity, orientation, um, the screen, the joystick. Um Yes, Mary. Can I just like um? Can I just um switch my camera to show you what I see? Yeah. So this is what came up. Okay. Um. Okay, close that, and then you want to close that, and then let me walk you through it. Let me walk you through. Okay, so so go to the um the Raspberry Pi the Raspberry icon on the top left, and then go to programming. Go to programming. Okay, I'll go to programming. So seriously, come. On. Okay, so yeah, you. Okay, so you don't have Python installed at all. Um, can I pick off my Sentry hat? It's making it pretty hard for me to put in the box, to put my Raspberry in the box. Uh, you're not supposed to put it in the box actually right now. Uh, but I don't Thanks. have the emulator thing, so I'm just trying to put it in the box. Okay, you you don't have okay so. All right. I can't connect here right now, so I'm just trying to put it in the box. Okay, so um, you can, yeah, you can take your, you can take the sense hat, you can take, you can take this your your sense hat off, and then because not not everyone, not everyone else, just um, just me. Okay. Yeah. Because it's pretty easy for me to put it on now. Yeah, you can. Okay, you can put yours back in the box if you'd like, and then follow on. Yeah. So, so for the Raspberry Pi, there's a Sense Hat emulator included in the operating system. And from the main menu, you want to select programming, then go to Sense Hat emulator to open the, the window that contains it. If you're using this version of the emulator, your program must import 
from since Excuse underscore me. emu instead of since underscore Excuse hat. Me, yes. Uh, so for I'm already done with the verifying, but I don't know how how we put it to make the Raspberry Pi screen. You don't have to, you don't have, know how to connect it to the screen. Yes. Okay, um, you don't have any, do you have any HDMI cable nearby? No. Okay. Or um, monitor, not your computer you, you need, screen. You need an HDMI cable to connect it. So mm -hmm. if, if you don't have one available, then that's fine. Um, it doesn't change, um, it doesn't change the, the lesson. It doesn't change the content that we're going to be covering. So it's okay. Um, and then, so Caleb, you, Caleb, um, you said that your Raspberry Pi doesn't have Python 3 installed on it. It doesn't have Python 3 either. <sighs> Yeah, that's. I don't know why I wouldn't have. I don't know why I wouldn't have that, because that's. Because we're we're supposed to, because the game that we're gonna make is gonna run on is gonna be using Python, so. Is this is it something that I can download? Yeah, yeah. You should. Yeah, you know what? Try going to the in, Try using the internet, on your Raspberry Pi. And then Google Python three download. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm going on to the internet. Um, so Python three download. Yeah, Google. Yeah, search for Python three. Download Python, python.org, Python 3.0. Yeah. Um, download Grit Source Tarwell, start 3.0, and something sick. Downloads. Okay, you know what? Um, you can. Has it already started downloading? No, I, I don't know like, which one to press download. Okay. Um, Python three point zero point one is okay. Yeah. Um, but you but you know what? You don't have to. You don't have to download it right now. You can just follow along with what we're about to do, and then okay. you can try it again on your own afterwards. Uh, Okay. Yeah. And and same thing with everyone else. If um if you if um if anyone else that doesn't have Python installed on their on their Raspberry, then it's fine. Um, you can watch this recording later on, and then try try downloading Python three onto your Raspberry Pi, and then do what we're about to do. So, if you have if you have um, Python 3 on the Raspberry, then you're going to want to click on it, and then you should get a window that looks like this. It'll open up a shell, and then it'll open up another window, which is just looks like a, an empty document that you have to write stuff in. This is where you're going to be writing your code. Python 3 and open So you're gonna. So once you have that opened, then you're gonna want to save that file as marble underscore maze. Marble underscore maze. See, save it. And as marble underscore maze. Marble underscore maze. I saw this. What? Huh? Saw this. What is it? 
I think this is the second page. No, right? that's not it. It's in Python. This way, this we get this is when it clicks in. Click on Python three, and it's called. All right. Um, just just follow along for now if you don't have Python open. So when you do, when you open up your new, when you open up your new file in Python, you're gonna want to put this this code in, from space sense underscore hat, space import space sense hat. Put it in the chat, yeah. and they can copy and paste it. Yeah, yeah. Let me do that. All right, so this is the first line of code that you're going to want to put on your Python file. And then next part, create a connection to your sense hat and clear the screen by adding this code. So I'll copy this and put it in the chat as well. Yeah, I'll just put all the lines in the, in the chat one by one so that you all see it. Oh, um, yeah. And then there's supposed to be the, the sense clear, the sec, the sense clear part is a third line, is a separate line. And it says, okay, it says draw a maze. First design a maze that fits on LED eight by eight matrix on squared paper. It's important that the maze is constructed from solid walls and that there are no diagonal gaps. Okay, I guess this is, if you have graph paper, then you can illustrate what it looks, what the maze looks like. Once you've drawn your maze, write down the initial color, the initial of the color used in each square. Okay, so here in this example, they used red. So they're each um, tiles, each square is labeled R and and then the these ones are labeled B. I don't know, they're labeled B for blue, oh, but, but I that's get not. The sensor is supposed to. Um, Revisualize what it actually, the, what the game's actually gonna look like. Yeah, I don't know why this person labeled it B, but um, okay. And now, now we're trying to recreate the, this maze on the Sense Hat's LED display. So you can define the color of your walls by specifying their RGB values. So add this code. R equals, yeah, I'll just put in the chat again. R equals open bracket 255, zero, zero. And then underneath that, B equals open bracket zero, zero, zero. And representing colors with numbers, add code to Add code to draw your maze by copying the letters you wrote on your plan into a two-dimensional list. Each row of LEDs rep is represented by a list, and the list for the eight rows are grouped together in a larger list. Okay, so yeah, this is um, this is this is this is basically defining defining the maze and code using yeah, using terms of R and B. No, is display your maze on the LED matrix. To do this, flatten the two dimensional list into a single one dimensional list and then display it like this with this code sense dot sense set underscore pixels open bracket sum 
open bracket, maze, comma, square bracket, then close the brackets, close the round brackets. Save and run your code to see the maze displayed on your LED. So, okay, so once you have your maze defined in code and then you run that file, it should show up to you. It should, you should get an LED message that looks like this. This is basically the, this is the maze that we've created. And the marble is going to go through this maze. So right now we only have, we have the maze by itself, but no marbles. So the next part is going to be describing how to add the marble into it. So in the Python file, type in the following code. From Sensat, import Sensat. Sense equals sense hat open bracket r equals 255 g equals 255 b equals 255 then you clear that by saying sense dot clear rgb open bracket rgb save and run your code the led matrix will go bright white the variables r g and b represent the colors red green and blue their values specify how bright each color should be, each between a value of 0 and 255. In the above code, you, the maximum value for each color has been used, so the result is white. You can also define all three RGB values using a, of the color using a single line of code. Red equals... Okay, so yeah, red, in this case, red would be the brightest red would be the one most focused. So red would be at maximum. So you're defining a variable called red and then setting it equal to an R an RGB an RGB set of values, which is red, green, and blue. So you're setting red, the first number at the maximum, which is 255, and then green at blue green and blue at zero so that you only get red. And then here's a here's a screenshot of what that should look like in here. So then if you change the value of one of these colors from 255 to from to a different number between zero and 255 then you're going to see that color. You're going to see a different quality of that color. If you if you set if you set R R to a, a lower number, then it's going to then the red is going to be less bright. If you do this, and then you can do the same thing for green and blue as well. And okay, what's this? Here's how your code should look. So here, so here in this part, in this example, um, you've got um, you've got red, you've got the red variable which has red at a maximum, and the other two colors at zero. You've got blue, which is equal to everything at zero, and then you've got white, which is equal to, which has all three colors at maximum which just makes this, which just makes the entire LED just shine really, really bright. And it just looks white and it just get, you just get a, a bright white light because everything is at a maximum. Okay, here, here they talk about creating a, a variable in Python. So, okay, so um, basically um, what we, yeah, what, they've been doing this in the basically what we've been what we've been doing is using variables to define our colors so here they talk about like using using a variable called animal and then saying it equal to cat and then using making a variable called score and saying it equal to 30. these are just ways to this these are just examples of how you can 
you can create normal variables in Python outside of um, this Raspberry Pi lesson. So if you guys ever use um, if you guys ever use Python for for um, if you're coding something else in Python, then this is an example of how you can use a variable. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's next? Detect, detect pitch and roll. The marble's movement will be controlled by moving the sense hat. Sense hat library can detect pitch roll in, uh, you can see a picture illustrating this below. Um, okay. So, all right, so what this is saying is that um, you can is that you can you can move the you can move your raspberry pi around you can hold your raspberry pi and then move it around like this and then the marble will move around on the led light the led light that shows up on the on the led screen will move around depending on how you move the raspberry pi itself so it's as it, it's it's like if the it's like if there was an actual marble inside of it and you're shaking the box and it's moving around. That's basically what this is saying. And detect pitch, yaw, pitch, yaw, and roll are basically just, um, they're just terms that describe how, how the, how you can move this thing around and then the marble will also move. But you don't have to worry too much about those. Above this code, above this code, create a Boolean value called game over with the starting value of false. And then create a while loop which runs while the game over variable is false. Put the two highlighted lines of code inside the loop. Okay. So, okay, so what this, this is doing is creating a while, this is creating a while loop. So, that um, the code will keep running until the, basically the code will keep running, it'll keep looping until the game is over. I'm assuming that's what the context of this game over variable is. Oh, I know this is, all right, or right, this is, this is just an example, this is an example of what, of a while loop in Python and I'm assuming that we're going to use a while loop in our code. Here's a pseudo code. So this is just explaining what that code is saying. While the game over variable variable equals false, set the position of the marble in the maze and draw the maze on the sense hat LEDs matrix. Okay, so while the so what that means is while the game game over variable is false while the game is not over then the code is setting the position the code that we're making is going to set the position of the marble in the maze and then it'll the mate the marble will move around the maze and try and try to get out this will create a game loop allowing us to update the position of the marble when the sense head is moved so You'll have your you'll have your maze here, and then you'll have game over set to false, and then while game over is false, while the game is not over, the maze will maze square bracket y square bracket x equals w, and then underneath that sense dot set underscore pixels open bracket sum of the maze square bracket. So this code will let you, so what this does is whenever you move the sense hat around, then the code will, will take that as, okay, the marble's being moved. And then it'll, it'll, move, the, it'll move the marble around. It will change the lights so that the marble looks like, the marble looks like it's moving. Detecting the, detecting movement with the sense hat. So Senta has orientation sensors with detect, which detect pitch, yaw, and roll. 
do the following X, do the following to access this data. In a Python file, enter this code from sense hat, import sense hat. So yeah, the, these all sound similar, but um, if you look at, uh, if you see it on the screen, then um, there are like two different things that are being used. So then from sense hat, import that, and then you're clearing it. And then orientation is O. Orientation is set as a variable called O. The pitch is, um, is searching the orientation, which is in O for pitch. The role value is searching for role within the O variable. And then yaw is looking for the yaw in the O variable, the orientation. And then print this file, which is going to search for, which is going to find the pitch roll in yaw of, from the moving sense hat, and then track them, and then print those out in Python. And when, when you run the program, you should see something like this. Pitch is this value, roll is this value, and then yaw is this value. So this, so this person was moving it in a way that they got these three valuables out. Here is how your code might look. If you run, in, if you run your program at this stage, nothing different will happen as we need to put the pitch and roll data to work in the next step, which is moving the marble above the while loop to find a new function which will be used to move the marble. So you'll write, you'll type in define, DEF for define, a function called move variable. And then here, these are, these, this open bracket, these stuff in the bracket are your parameters, which your function needs to work. So the pitch roll and pitch roll X and Y variables are passed to the function as parameters creating and calling the functions in Python. Inside the function, make a copy of the X and Y values. So new X equals X, new Y is Y. These represent the new position of the marble after you've calculated, after the program has calculated whether it's moved or not. How does the pitch value change? Imagine that the Raspberry Pi with the sense hat is attached to an airplane and the end with the USB ports is the tail at the is the tail of, of the plane, sorry. So when the sense hat is lying flat like this, the pitch should be zero. And then if the sense hat is rotated so that the nose of the plane is pointing to the air, like if the plane is taking off, then the pitch value will decrease. If the pitch is between, no, pitch is between 359 and 181, then the value of the new X needs to increase to represent the marble moving across the edge, which is nearest to the ground marked on the diagram with the yellow arrow. The sense hat is rotated so that the nose of the plane is pointed, pointed towards the ground. Then the pitch value would decrease, increase one, two, three, four, and then so on and so forth. If the pitch is between one and 179, then the value of new X needs to decrease to represent the marble moving the opposite way. Coding the marble, if the pitch is between one, one and 175, then the new value should decrease by one. Add some code within your move marble function to implement this. So, New X is an X, new Y is Y. If pitch is between one and 179, new X equals new X minus one. So this is just a, a way to write that in Python. And then, and then at the end, it returns the new X and the new Y. You can add more code at the location specified so that if the pitch is between 359 and 181, the value of the new X increases by one. This will move your marble to the right. 
test this code out, you need to call the function. Add this line of code inside the while loop. This one right here that's highlighted. Save and run your code, then move your sense hat to change its pitch. And then what do you see in the LED matrix? The marble does not exactly behave as we would like. So to fix some, so there are two problems. The marble is a whole line of illuminated LEDs instead of just one LED light. So the code breaks with an index error list assignment index out of range message. The first problem, lots of LEDs are illuminated. So you're gonna to wanna to use the sleep function to add a pause of 0 0.05 seconds to buffer that. So in your while loop, using the function, using, using Python sleep command, add this line to the top of your program to import the sleep function. From time, import sleep. Whenever you want to pause in your program, call the sleep function. And then the number indicates how many seconds you would like the pause to be. So you can do sleep for two seconds or sleep for half a second. Then on line below sleep, add code to tell the LED at the current X, Y position to reset itself to blank. So your code should look like this. On game not over, pitch equals that, roll equals that, X, Y equals done? move. Yeah, we're almost done. I'm just kind of um, rushing through it because we don't have a lot of time. Going through it as fast as I can. Okay, okay. Because okay. we don't have a lot of time left. So, and I know um, we can't really demonstrate it, but um, I hope that um, you guys are able to, I hope that you guys are able to um, go through it yourselves when you, when you, when the recording is out and hopefully you guys have, will have everything that you need to do all this. But um, let's just read through it in the last remaining minutes that we have. So problem two, error message. The error occurs because in the move marble function, we always add or subtract one from the value of the new X variable, depending on which way the sense hat is tilted. This means that the new value of X will increase seven above seven or decrease below zero as these values would be outside the boundaries of the LED matrix, we get an error. We can fix this by changing the code so that the value of X and Y are only allowed to increase or decrease when they are not equal to zero or seven. So we're gonna alter our move marble function to check that adding or subtracting one from the new X value will not cause the marble to go off the edge. So the first change will look like this and then you can save and run your code and then tilt the sense hat so that the marble doesn't get stuck. And now there's only one, L one bright light instead of like a whole line of them. Now you have the marble moving horizontally. You have to make it move vertically as well. And then we're gonna add, so we add some more code so that it uses the roll value to move the marble up and down the Y in the Y direction. So you're gonna wanna, you're gonna put a bunch of if and else statements in your code so that if, depending on where your pitch is, you're gonna either add, add one to your new X or subtract one from your, your new X. And then you're gonna wanna do the same thing for the Y so that if, if your role is between one and 179, you add one to your new Y. And then if it's, or else if it's between 359 and 179, then it subtracts the, from the Y. So if you this, so if you put this code in, then it will allow your marble to move horizontally and vertically depending on the pitch on how you move the sense hat. Hmm. Make the wall solid. Probably notice that when the marble moves around the maze, it deletes the walls as it goes. So prevent this 
from happening, you need some basic collision detection. So you need to write a code, write a new function that um, senses whenever the marble is getting close to the to the walls, and then make it makes sure that the that it doesn't delete the the wall when it touches it. So this is how the code should look. And this is a check wall function. So if you save that, if you put that in and then save and run it, and then move the sense at, the marble now stops when it hits the wall in any direction. Then lastly, you want you there's a we need a way to win this game, not and so that it doesn't just go on forever. So create a new variable to store store your chosen color for the winning marker. Put this code with other color variables that you've already created, like red, blue, and green. Then add the winning marker to the maze by changing a B in the grid to the letter representing a variable to changing a letter a variable in the grid to the letter representing your winning marker color, whatever you want your color to be. Choose a B in the maze grid and changes choose a B variable in the maze grid and change it to the letter you want to choose representing your marker color so that when the marker so that when the marble touches that marker on the maze then the game is over and you've won so here in the inside your maze you can change one of those b valuable b variables to any color you want you can change it to green for example so that once so that when your marble, when you're tilting your, your sense hat and the marble is moving around, if you can get it around the maze, through the maze, to that marker, to that green marker, then you win. And here's, if the color is the winning color, display a message saying win and set the game over value variable to true to end the game. So yeah, this whole this whole game is running because the game over is was game over variable is set to false. So when so when the when the marker is reached, then the game over should be set to true instead of false. So how to do that? Um, Well, game over is false, get orientation, and then write write the code for where's that? Okay. Move marble depending on the pitch roll and XY and maze equals that and set pixels. And then Maze equals B. Okay, so if so, you you would you would make an if statement, saying that if the saying. Can you put the website in again so I don't forget? Yeah. I yeah, forgot I'll, the website I'll, name. The the website name for um. Yeah, could you put it in the chat, please? Yeah, um for which website? STEM Hub or Um Python. Py oh, so that you can download Python. Yeah. Um honestly if you if you just Google Python if you if you just Google Python three download, you should be able to find it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not very difficult to find. So, okay, so while game over equals false, you do, you're moving a marble, and then if, here. Python. If, you found, what did you find? We download. Okay, so yeah, try yeah, it. Try downloading that onto on your I Raspberry the first Pi computer. One. I pressed the first one. Yeah, yeah, Raspberry two or three should be fine. And 
Okay, here's a reference that you guys can use to help out. So I can, I'll put that in the chat as well. It's saying antivirus protection expired. Oh, this is for me. Never mind. Okay. Um. Okay, then make then is that on your, your computer or your Raspberry Pi? Okay, well, yeah, you're going to want to check your, um, the security on your computer, make sure, maybe have your parents check it out so that um, none of what we downloaded here today ends up hurting your computer or downloading anything dangerous onto it. So, um, yeah, guys, we've re reached the end of the workshop. So, um, I know it's, it, it was kind of tough with, um, you know, there, there being only one of me, but, um, you know, and, uh, not everyone was not everyone having the required hardware, which was strange, which, it, because it should have reached everyone by now, but, um, yeah, all, all of the um, the instructions and the recording will be available to you guys later on. So if you if you couldn't do any of what we were able to do today during this lesson, then you can always come back to this recording and go through it yourself and then just pause whenever you want to. I'm joining on my computer. Can you please let me in? Okay. Um, well, there, well we're actually done. Nothing left. There's nothing left to cover here. So. Okay. And uh, oh, Michael. Um, Michael just joined us. How are you doing? So do we leave? Oh, hello Michael. everyone. You're very very late. <laughs> I've been stuck in the meeting room. No one will let me into the call. <laughs> Stand up. <laughs> I was sharing my I've been screen in front time. of my computer for half an hour. I heard Akira was uh, teaching this one by himself, so I tried to join in, but I was just stuck waiting. Yes, that's what I, when I, I was leaving to join on my iPad, that's the same thing that happened to me. For like half an hour, I wasn't in the meeting. <laughs> I was so wrapped up in the six minutes. <laughs> I was so wrapped up in the lesson that I couldn't see. And I was sharing my screen too, so I couldn't see that there was someone in the waiting room. Yeah. Sorry about that, Akira. I um I didn't realize Bango wasn't gonna be here until like a couple minutes prior. It's okay. It's it's fine. We 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 we, we managed. Um so and like whatever and recording will be available anyway, so if okay. um yeah, yeah everyone have fun. Out. Thumbs it up, I hope. Yep. <laughs> I hope you guys at least learned something if you weren't able to do it yourself because you didn't have the, all the materials. You just need a lot of notes. Wow. Yeah, it's a lot of um, it's a, it's a lot of coding involved. It's a, <laughs> it's a lot of code we had to go through. So yeah, um, I I I think you guys will receive the the PD. Will they receive the PDF as well? That I, th I think uh, so because it's part of the curriculum. Unless yeah, I'm wrong. I believe so. Okay. You're so. still recording. Um, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, if as long as next week is coding, I'll be here for next week. Uh, so if we continue coding next week, then I can definitely uh, help out at least. So. Yeah. 